give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a room. All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome to another video here on Cool Stuff Inc. Dot com. We're playing some Explorer today, reporting over the hot new deck in Magic over the last week. Uh, they're calling it Boros Hogak. Uh, of course, a reference to Hogak Arisen Necropolis, which was the scourge of modern in like 2018, 2019, 2020, 2019, I don't know, whenever it was. Uh, totally dominated the Pro Tour and was routinely known for putting like 15 power in play on turn two with alarming consistency. And uh, now that this new Boros deck is out, uh, it kind of can also put like 12, 13 power and play on turn two fairly often, and people are calling it Hogak. Is that good? No. Uh, it's not obviously as good as the deck that was literally the most targeted deck at the Pro Tour and still had the best win rate or whatever, uh, but this deck is really, really good. Now, of course, this deck's in Pioneer, but Explorer on Arena is like, you know, 85 to 90% of Pioneer, but not all of it, and some of the key cards aren't there, so I wanted to rebuild it for Explorer for all your Arena players out there who wanted to get in on the action. Uh, and don't have access to cards like Reckless Bushwhacker and Legion of Loyalists and so on. So here's my build of a deck on uh, on Arena for Explorer. So a lot of these cards we're already familiar with, right? So the, the core of a deck, for those that don't know, is our 8-pack here of 4 5-mana 4-4 four, four Convoke Creatures. Of course, Venerated Loxodon, phenomenal card of putting a bunch of power in play. 4-4 uh, four, four Convoke, pumps all the things you convoked it. And the new one here is Knight Errant of Eos. This is the one that really pushes it over the edge. This one convokes, doesn't pump the squad, but usually draws you two extra creatures. Sort of like a Muldrifter, but just like, you know, is a 4-4 four, for four, almost free, basically, which is phenomenal. So these two cards really, really push the issue. And Gleeful Demolition is the card that pushes this through. Because this makes three creatures for one mana, allowing for a bunch of turn two starts that are unbelievable. So turn one, you play uh, Voldaire and Epicure, make a blood. Turn two, you cast Demolition on the blood, make three tokens, so now you have four creatures. Play a one drop for five creatures, and then kill it, play a Venerated Loxodon. And that's two, four, six, eight, ten. It's 14 power on turn two. And it can be a Loxodon or a Knight Errant. It can be an Epicure or an Inspector. Uh, you know, really are, there are many, many permutations, uh, for this insane nut draw, and there also are the ability to just, like, do it normally anyway with, you know, resolute reinforcements and just playing a bunch of one drops and yada, yada, yada. So, the cards we've got to replace here are Reckless Bushwhacker, which is the big one, uh, that allows you to surge it out for two mana and give your whole team plus some of so in haste. Uh, and then, I mean, Legion of Loyalists is kind of whatever. That's the really, really big one. So, our stand in there is Regal Lan Lanosaur which is a 2-mana two 2-2, two two, which is whatever. But whenever it mutates, your entire team gets plus, plus 2, plus 1, uh, which is awesome. So a very, very powerful card. And the important part here is, of course, that you can find it off of your Knight Errant of Eos, which is a very important factor. You need to keep your creature count up. So we're also playing Resolute Reinforcements. Uh, we're not playing uh, Forbidden Friendship, which is a card that's often seen in this deck that makes a dinosaur and a human, because we're not playing Burning Tree Emissary. And uh, the early list saw it Burning Tree Emissary, but Burning Tree really messes up your mana base, uh, requires you to play almost all red sources, and then it also um, has the issue of you need to play two drops you can cast off it. So, for example, you can't cast Clarion Spirit or Reinforcements off of a, a Burning Tree. So, I think removing Burning Tree Emissary, especially in the absence of, uh, of Bushwhacker, is a really, really big deal. Uh, but also makes it like more consistent as well. So, we have Clarion Spirit making some tokens here. A couple Giant Killer for like a dual threat of like a one drop that can also kill larger creatures. Ornithopter for speed. You get the idea. 19 lands. Gigantha, pretty easy. Cyborg's pretty clean. Uh, we got Invasion of, of, uh, of uh, Yo Gabba Gabba here, of Gabba, Bob Gabba Can, whatever. Uh, it's kind of like a Thoughtseize effect against combo and control decks. We got Forge Devil to kill Lana Rolves and in the mirror, which is a pretty awesome card. Just a little, uh, little value there, a little you know, sleeper. We got Rending Volley, which is obviously great. Wedding Announcement is our plan against uh, Grindy decks. They're trying to kill us with removal spells and, uh, and sweepers. And then Showdown and the extra land comes in there as well. So that's the deck. I'm pumped for it. You should be too. Let's get right to the games. Brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Into an okay hand. Not the most exciting, but we'll try and make it work. Uh, don't really want to cast this as a 2-2, but if we absolutely have to, we will. Draw another Loxodon. So, options here are to crack the clue or just play a 2-2. Two -two. 
Just gonna play with 2-2. Two, two. At least guarantees like, I can play Locks it on next turn. It's like a 4-4, four, four, just bump the board up a little bit, so... See, Forest to go from our opponent. I mean, it's possible they're playing Modern Rain Devotion. Have a slow draw. Bird. Alright, that is the case, so... Now I got the Demolition. Alright, cool. Alright, so... Play the land. And now we can Demolition and just get our get our game on. Um, the question is, do you want to play Knight Errant or play a Vox Loxodon? I think speed is of the essence here. This is just going to be a Goldfish matchup, so... We're going to Demolition the Clue. And then just tap them all and play a Loxodon. They're going to pump everything up, right? There's no way you can play... No, you can't play two things here. So, alright, yeah, kill this. And then just pump the squad up. Is there any merit to attacking for two here? Is attacking for two? No, just pump it up. Pump them all up. So, boom. Turn live, and I would have liked, but we got four, ten, fifteen power in play. And then next turn, we'll try and figure out exactly how deep we want to go. We did bottom a Lannosaur, so we only have one left. But if we find it, mutating onto itself triggers it twice. So... That would be a lot of damage <laughs> if uh, that were to come up. On the old mulligan here. Alright, what do you got, friend? Any Planeswalker is great for us, obviously. The only real scary card would be the 4-4. Four -four. Old Growth Troll. It's the only thing they can block effectively for this for this mana. Or, it's like Kiora, probably. Cure on if they go cure untap four four that would be probably the worst the best case for them and the worst case for us obviously nope gonna untap those lands think about it a little bit want to remind you of course is a companion article to this video as always on coolstuffinc.com this is even better so they go haven kiora untap four four and they have the the newts sure they want a mana burn makes sense. We draw Legion's Landing. Interesting. So, killing Kiora here is difficult. It requires it requires a monstrous commitment. We're going to go for them. So, we're going to go Legion's Landing. We're going to flip it. Uh, so, we have one, two, three, four mana for Knight already. So, we're going to attack with everything but one thing. And then we'll cast the Knight Errant of Eos after his flips. Or we should attack them. Uh, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This gets in for a bunch. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's possible they just go bananas next turn. They have like a Nykthos. But I think attacking Cure is just far too difficult. It would require us to commit basically this entire attack because they can block one thing. So yeah, we, we, we need to attack with at least four of these creatures here. Uh, which is like just... An, I mean, we're missing out on nine damage to their face or whatever. It's not worth it. So here's the, uh, the old Flipperoni. I hard pressed to see a block here, honestly. We do a little math. We're adding four, four more power to the board, and then again, we get really, really lucky and find a, the last copy of Linus Store. That'd be awesome. I think Giant Killer would also be a good pickup too. So drawing, one, we have three great outs here: uh, two Giant Killers and one Linus Store. Definitely win us the game, I think. Um, unless they have like the most ridiculous turn ever next turn, which is possible, obviously. All right, we're gonna keep Linus Elf going to six. Here's the. Uh, Knight Errant, we can get a creature two or less. There's Giant Killer and Inspector. Take those two. All right. We're pretty well queued up for a W here. Got to sit back and relax and hope they don't have a bonkers turn. It would have to be a really good turn. Like, the Explorer version of a deck doesn't have, doesn't have the Chain Veil, so they can't actually go infinite, I believe. I don't know how all like, this Nature. stupid... There you go. That's the start. One festival storm, please. Cavalier of Thorns Forest. This is a, this is a decent sized look at a uh, at a thing. Then I'll find it. So no Nykthos. Five mana left over. Giant killer in hand. 
many, many large creatures in play. Today's the big day for standard, if you're a standard player. Uh, they announced the bannings today. My article last Friday, a few days ago, on CoolStuffInc.com went over what I think the banning should be. Uh, the four cards I want to see banned, and I discussed about a dozen more. Um, so we'll see how right I am today, I guess. Definitely a very, very important ban announcement, trying to revitalize standard, which I think, I, I mean, I love standard. I think standard is very, very important to the game, so. Play Forest, play Cavalier of Thorns. Yeah, you're really dead, so. <laughs> I hope you can do better than that. They find Nykthos? They did not. They didn't find a land, actually. That's a whammy. There we go. Love to see it. All right. So we're going to want these two Forge Devils and a couple of Invasions. Probably not all of them. Um, and again, we're just looking at the Goldfish here. So I would say maybe the Clarion Spirits can go. Uh, and then we need to cut a few more cards. You can even shave like a Night Errant or two, honestly, because like it's not really about card advantage. It's just purely about speed. Um, love Forge Devil, Killing Lana or Elf. Let me shave like, um, shave like a snub a dub, and a knight errant. Snub is not really great in this matchup because obviously it's good against decks that are like playing mass removal spells or whatever, or playing you know damage effects, and like you often end up in a spot against them where you're just attacking with everything, and you have like four one ones and a three three, and they have a four four, so you just block the three three. It's like might as well might as well be a one one. So you can shave a snub here, and we'll shave one knight errant. Uh, we're on the draw. I just don't think we want to get flooded on Convokers, and Locks on is much more important in this matchup, so. Looks good to me. Alright, getting right into it. Uh, invasion, Devil. So, I like this hand because we're on the draw. Uh, because we, they can play an Elf, and we can, we can kill it with Forge Devil. On the play, I guess we can always, like, on the play we can go, like, landing, and they play, they and I have to play two one-drops, but we can keep this. That's not great, but I think it's alright. No land or Elf again? Are you crazy? All right, sure. Uh, let's play landing and say go, I guess. That's kind of awkward, honestly. <laughs> Makes our hand like a lot worse. We were kind of like pretty amped to kill a Lana Rolf. Here's a Nykthos. They obviously have a uh, Haven again. All right. Uh, do we invasion here? I think we could do invasion, honestly. Like. Basically, like, they have some mana. Card. This card isn't even that good against them, honestly. Maybe this card shouldn't even bring this in. Let's invasion them. Use our mana. Their hand is Pelucranos Leveler, Old Growth Troll, Kiora, Storm the Festival. Jeez. All right, we're taking the Kiora. Uh, Kiora is the card that gets them going. It makes more mana for Nykthos and this untappy land. If they draw a land, they can go Kiora, untap this, play a four, a, a four drop, which is pretty insane. And we'll just have to punch through these things, honestly. Take the Kiora. Cost two more, and then as far as attacking the battle goes, yeah, I think so. Definitely not in love with the start. Um, might have already played two creatures. It just like sucks. Like we want to get value up this too. Could have played giant killer and inspector, but kind of an awkward hand. Oh, there's the mystic. All right. Well, we found the mystic. All right, sure. We're, we're going to kill that, obviously. And then probably end step reinforcements. Yeah, so let's play this. Devil. In the details. And then we're just gonna attack. Attack the battle again. And then we're gonna say go. Set up for reinforcements. Then next turn we can poke the battle and flip it, pump our team, which is kinda nice. Lana Rolves again! Wow. I uh, wouldn't mind another devil here, honestly. Tap. So we have a bunch of mana. Um, we gotta send two at the battle because they could block in theory. I actually like wanting to block, honestly. I think that's even fine. So we could also just line a service turn too. It's uh, it's not like great. Otherwise, we're gonna flip the. I'm sure we're also flipping landing too. Now let's go to Spectre and then we'll let's make a token. So let's make this on white. Let's attack. I think I would like a block, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them let them protect their thing if they want to. Flip the landing, and this is gonna work, all right? So, um, cast the array. This pumps all the attackers, which is great. We're gonna play this, and we're just gonna make a token in step, and then we're gonna line a sword. 
Kind of an ugly, scrappy game. Both of our draws were not particularly good, but... All right, what do you got, friend? Nykthos, not for much, though. I mean, just gonna probably play a troll and just, like, say go. Killing the troll with Giant Killer, not very exciting, but... They're gonna play Pelucranos instead of... Why are they so adverse to playing Old Growth Troll? It's very peculiar to me. Alright, so we're gonna make a token, untap Giant Killer, and then do this if we draw land. If I Giant Killer this, and then do this, 4, 8, 12, 16... It's actually 17. Yeah, actually, we'll just do this, never mind. Alright, so kill Pelucranos. Ornithopter. Um, mutate. I want to gain life. I want to. We can make the. Honestly, put it on the Thopter. It's actually more more damage to this way. So let's make the, play this. Let's mutate here. On top. Pump the freaking squad. Let's go. This is 16. This is 19 damage. They have to block. And they're just dead. They have, there's no, there's, they, they, they have no comeback from this. So. Unless there's a green Wrath of God that I'm unaware of. And even then, we have, we have Bugbear also. So, yeah. So, take it down to two. We have uh, we have Light Shield also. Yeah. So, definitely a Goldfishy matchup. I mean, they didn't have, it's funny because they didn't have Lanner off either game. But I had the answer for it in this game if they did. So, it ended up being a weird game. But, sweet. We'll take it. All right. On the draw. Snub a dub dub. Um, it's pretty good. We're obviously lacking a Convoke Creature, but we're on the draw. We got double one drop with Demotion, Snub a Dub, a Pump Spell. This hand hits pretty hard, honestly. Probably like. Let's see if I Snub a Dub on one. And then I. No, we're not in close to City's Blessing yet, so. Let's play like Inspector on one, Epicure, Demolition on two, probably. Keep stabbing a point of Mulligans. Point of Mulligans again. That was up again. Three fast mulligans, all right. Uh, opponents on four cards. All right, sure. Um, let's play, uh, let's actually play Epicure over Inspector because I might want the extra white. I on, on a little path without white, I think, so our deck's mostly white, so. Again, part of the allure of not playing Burning Emissaries that we can just play lines on white, so. Thieves Guild Enforcer. Gonna mill over some cards, sure. Uh, getting a little roguey here, so they can obviously counter my demolition, which would kind of suck, but let's put us on white. Let's, uh, they could have the 1-3 also. Let's just cast some spells, I guess. Let's play Inspector. I feel like they're probably going to counter with Demolition, but it isn't that bad for us, honestly. Keep the clues. Get rid of the blood. Sure. So, not ideal, but whatever. Attack for one. We have six permanents. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we draw a lamb. We get to have... Uh, where are his thoughts? These. We draw a lamb. We get to have the, uh, the city City's Blessing. And our three threes. Take the line of sore. Sure. Reinforcements. Alright, um, just gonna attack and then snub a dub twice, the next turn we'll get City's Blessing and attack for a million. That's eight, which was a counter on the card, a little ascendant counter, you know, just counter your permanence for you. Shepard Dunes, yeah, I mean, this match is like already over, obviously, this game's already over. And, uh, there's City's Blessing. Inspector, attack with everything. They could, they could have like the one three, but whatever. Should attack. So we have two clues in play now too. So sure. Enforcer number two. Uh, that will give them two three two death touch, I guess. Sure. Are they gonna keep them around. They're gonna keep them around. All right, sure. Down eight. Ornithopter. Sack a clue. Draw land. Sack a clue. Looking for a convoke creature. No. Alright. 
This is like okay. This game's a lot closer to what I would like for them only to four, honestly, but. Drive a lock, sure. Block. And then, uh. We only have two Linosaurs left. And we have Clarion Spirit. Yeah, we're gonna hold this. <clears throat> Shock and a land and play Invasion of Amonkhet. That's an interesting one. Uh, sure. I mean, can't really afford to attack it, obviously. We draw a Gigantham and we stink. Alright, let's uh, try and draw a spell here, I guess. Draw Clarion Spirit. That's a spell. Alright, cool. Play Clarion Spirit. Play Ornithopter. Make a Flyer. I'll just say go. We're obviously ahead, but, you know, oh, well, that, that should do it. Uh, Alright, so we're going to attempt to Linosaur. They could obviously have a removal spell or a counter spell here, but we're still going to go for it. Let's try to Linosaur on this thing, I think. I guess the Thopter is flying. Yeah, let's try the Thopter, sure, whatever. We have a removal spell or counter spell. Either will stop this, obviously. If they kill it response, I get a 2 2 still, though, which is fine. Just gonna scoop, sure. So I was gonna be able to get a 4 that game. I mean, for a to 4, that game was a lot closer than I would have liked, honestly, but. Alright, so we're gonna bring in what? Um. Huh. Giant killers are pretty bad. Wedding announcement's like good, but it has to like resolve. These Forge Devils don't really kill enough. Rending Volley only kills, I guess it kills Crab, and it kills the 1-3 Flyer. Like the idea of Den of the Bugbear, obviously it's an uncounterable threat. Um, not sure what kind of supers they would have, like Witch's Vengeance probably. Doesn't do anything against us though, because so we're multiple types, so. I'm gonna bring in the bugbear and cut the dunes. Uh, don't think we need to add a land here, start bringing in all of our big stuff, but. I don't think we want evasion. Uh, I don't think we want wedding announcement on the draw, it's just too unlikely to resolve. Bring in a few rending volleys, I guess, we call it a day. Let's bring in spring all three. Let's shave like. I guess a Clarion Spirit. Maybe the Flyers is pretty good. Reinforcements, Linosaur. You could shave a Thopter. Just like the the least powerful card. They're in a Thought Seize doesn't kill our stuff, so. Alright. We got. Oh my god. Uh. If you told me 100% there was a land on top of my deck, I might keep, but I can't keep this otherwise, so we're going to mulligan. Mulligan to another one lander, but it's got basically everything. Uh, we got to keep this. Keep this and ship the snub dub Hope we draw a land here. We have turn one, demolition if we really want it. Draw a land, alright, cool. So let's go land. I'm just going to go landing. Uh, I'm not going to ornithopter and demolition. They have a Fatal Force is really bad for us. It's like not worth it, I don't think. Just say go. Here's your Thieves Guild Enforcer. Mill 2, Rending Volley, and Knight Errant. Draw land, cool. Um, we're gonna play... I might want to double red, actually. Let's just attack. Attack and see what happens. They have the 1-3, try and draw it out. They do have the 1-3. Alright, so it's gonna mill 2. Gonna Rending Volley this. Pretty big change for us. And now we're gonna Demolition. Because like, we can guarantee resolve it, and then I can put the, put, put the uh, landing next turn too. So let's put the Ornithopter. Mm, that's red, that's fine. And then Demolition. So now I have 4 attackers, which is almost a guarantee flip on the Legion's landing. And then landing's obviously great burst them, so... Pretty clutch to kill their creature. Get in, get 
out. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. Kaido. It's pretty interesting. Um, all right, sure. Kaido it is. Tag with everything. Flip the landing. In for a bunch. Uh, I'm just going to say go. We could, like, resolve both of these, but, like, they have a super terrible for us, and, like, if they counter one of these, whatever, we don't care anyway, so. They're going to attack. Um, we could have, like, blocked, I guess. We have we have seven cards in our graveyard, though, so they could easily make us into the uh, larger creature. Draw a card off Kaido. What kind of supers could they have? They're playing creatures also, so. Shielder. That's not a sweeper. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a jerk move, actually. Let's just draw a Linosaur. We do that. That's pretty sweet. Draw a Linosaur. Just close this game up. Just pack it up. Rending Volley. Not quite. That kills. Nope. Doesn't kill the Planeswalker either. For multiple reasons. Oh, I just can't target Planeswalkers. And then, yep. Yeah. So, alright. We're just going to Leroy. And try and kill him, kill him over two turns, I guess. We deal seven damage here. We're going to gain a lot back in the Shielder, obviously. I definitely was not prepared for Shielder here. Um, we boarded out our giants too, our giant killers too, so a little awkward. Nighthawk scavenger. All right. Well, I guess we're not very smart for boarding out our giant killers because they have now presented two unbeatable targets. Um, I am once again asking for a linosaur. I'll be taking that now. Clarion Spirit. And no targets. Um, now they gain six if I attack all. Yeah, we're just dead here. Alright, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I mean... They they got us, I guess. They, 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 worked, they worked all the angles. Bring in the Giant Killers. Um, I think three Rending Volleys, too many. It kills Crab in the 1-3. Um, and then with Shave. On the play. He's going to be a little more aggressive, I think. I'm actually going to Shave Snub a Dub. It's fine. I, I was considering bringing him back at the 4th and 1th opt. I think it's fine. Honestly, on the on the play, I'm a little more interested in wedding announcement. I guess it's still pretty hard to resolve, though, right? Yeah, just keep our spells cheap. Let's try this. And Shouldered and the Lifelink Rogue. Uh, on the play. And that's a pretty good end. We can keep this. It's not quite there, but it's almost there. We would love to draw an Ornithopter or a uh, a Demolition. One Vantage, one Inspector. I should have no, I should, I should, I should play the Epic here. Because I might want to play the Inspector as my last creature and then play as my white mana. It's alright then. Thoughtseize, sure. What are you going to take? I got two Convoke payoffs. Try and take Cheap Creature and try and keep me off Convoking. Let's draw a Demolition, please. Let's draw a Demolition, please. Alright, we draw Legion's Landing, which is pretty good. Um, attack for one. I guess we're going to Landing Epic here. I mean, like, we kind of want to hold Spell for Clarion Spirit, but, like, we can draw Land in that case. That's only worth it. If we just play the Clarion Spirit, it's likely to die. I guess, like, we could still go for it, though, right? Just play Clarence and make them kill it. And then we could just go draw land. Now we're still off of uh, casting Loxodon. We're not right there yet. Um, hmm. Landing also threatens a flip. I can't draw the lock yet. Eh, hey, I'll just cast it. They have push, they have push. Make them have it. Drown doesn't kill it. And it gets on tap. If I make one token off this, I'm going to be ecstatic. So. Alright. Well, here we go. Let's play Epicure. They have Brazen Bar, for sure. Alright. You got me good, I guess. Play Landing. Attack for one. So you go. So now you want to draw a land. You can go Clarion Spirit into Convoke Creature. 
Still not enough cards for a draw the lock on the Clarion Spirit, which is cool. Here's a Scavenger. Sure. They didn't draw land. Oh my god, you're killing me here. Alright, um... I guess we're gonna resolve Night Errant. Just whatever. We're gonna find an Ornithopter, another Clarion Spirit, Inspector Epicure. Let's take the Ornithopter and the Inspector. So I can guarantee a spirit next turn. And let's take up. So they have a very, very small Nighthawk Scavenger. Bird. Land four. Shoulder would be annoying, but I think we're going to pop off pretty hard next turn, so... They're going to enforce their milling land land, and they're going to enforce her again. Milling creature, creature. So, and creature, creature. And they're going to play very bad. Right, so go, they're going all in here. So, I think going all in favors us, because we're going to dump, we're going to, we're going to go all in next turn too. Uh, Agra three, game three, sure. So we're going to untap and draw, draw land. Okay, so we get to go Clarion Spirit, Inspector, make a token. And then locks it on. So one, two, three, four. So we can actually flip the landing and um, cast all these spells too. I can actually go double Clarion Spirit, which is kind of gas, um, by flipping the landing. We attack with Knight Errant, these two tokens. Then I go Clarion Spirit, Clarion Spirit token, Ornithopter, Convoke. Um, doesn't leave us anything for next turn, but let's see. We lose one of these one ones. Probably trade off the four four with an an uh, thing. These thingy. I think that's good though. Let's do that. So let's go attacks. Okay. So get two gain one. Play Clarion Spirit. Play Clarion Spirit make a token. Play Ornithopter. Play Venerated Locks on. Oh, Gark. Pump them all up and say go. And they got no cards. They just drew a card. So, draw another land. So, drawing a land here sucks, obviously, because we, we just want to freaking draw yeah, a spell so we can double spell. So, we're going to Adanto, I think. Let's attack with uh, our stuff here. They have this uh, Borrower, too, which can block the Flyer. Um... Trading off Clarion Spirits, honestly, it's fine, realistically. Just like attack with, like, attack with this and this and this. And that's it for now. This Mastermind's annoying with our clue. We have to clue do it on their turn, but it's fine, whatever. And then we'll probably just go land, Inspector, make a token. They drew another Fairy Mastermind. Sure. We're going to mill some cards. Still landing creature. It's a lot of our deck is landing creatures, so... Forcer blocks locks it on, and then no other blocks. So go down to eight. And then we're just gonna play land, just play inspector, and say go. I've done it on the first forge. We could all also buy Gigantha. But I think one big idiot is worse than just making a token in. Yeah, so I don't I don't tap all my, all my lands for this next turn, so. Pretty wide at this point. Alright. Four it up. Let me draw a Thornthopter. Okay. Um, that makes me more inclined to buy Gigantha, because actually I can go Gigantha and Thopter and make some tokens. Although, realistically, these are probably going to die in combat. We're going to send in... I mean, I would trade a Spirit with a Scavenger, I think. Let me be surprised if they uh they mastermind also. Yeah, we can actually buy this and clue on their turn, which is pretty cool. So we'll just chill, I think. Trading Clarion Spirit for Nighthawk Scavenger. I guess that's pretty good. We should just do that. So that's off. Let's off with the trade. Tell of this. I mean, Leroy right here, they're effectively at twelve with extra blockers, so it's not even that good. Sure. 
So they life's a wash, we trade for that. We'll buy Gigantha, and just say go. And then we'll clue on their turn to not trigger the mastermind. They're gonna mastermind anyway, so each player draws a card. That's our second draw. They're gonna draw two more cards. So whenever an opponent draws their second card each turn, you draw a card. So I'm gonna draw it now, now I'll just crack this right now. Because uh otherwise they can do it again on their turn and draw an extra card, so draw reinforcement, sure. So they've drawn a lot of cards here. This card's, pretty, this card's pretty awesome, honestly. I think this card's really, really good. Fairy Mastermind, nice card. It's a cute card, too. Nighthawk Scavenger? Sure. Now you get to just play a bunch of stuff, which is cool. I'm just gonna go land Gigantha Ornithopter, make a token, and then attack with my 3-3. Three, three. You wanna counter this? No, I got a 5-5, five, five. sick. Play Ornithopter, make a token. The mini Bane Slayers are pretty annoying, I'm not gonna lie, but attack for three. Fine trading here. Fatal push. Sure. So we'll blood on their turn. Already milled two of my Linosaurs, which is kind of annoying. They milled three Night Errants. They milled a lot of our good guards, just like serendipitously for them. Alright, what do you got, friend? Okay. Obviously, we want to try and resolve this. Um, do we just go for it? Like, obviously, if they have a counter spell or a removal spell, they'll be able to stop it. Um, we could like make an Adanto token and then put it on that. Nope, we can't. Um, three. I think they make two things after anyway. I'll just go for it. They got it, they got it, you know? This makes them use a Fatal Push and a freaking Ornithopter. They're gonna Odawara the Ornithopter, sure. So, we still got our 2-2. Two -two. Um, and this Lifelinker is being really annoying, if I'm being totally honest. We're gonna attack for 5. Do I just have a team here? They're effectively at 11. If we don't block this... It eats me in game three. I think it's not everything, actually. Leroy. Leroy! Yeah, so the, this is like, it's not a force block, but it's an almost a force block, so. And then, like, we're gonna eat, eat the rest of the crap anyway, so. Ray of Enfeeblement. Alright. Coming in through. They go to five. They've got not much else in play. We're gonna play Inspector. This ends their enforcements. Feeling pretty good here. This is a game where we haven't really played a convoke card yet, have we? I'm sorry, we played the one one, one locks not right. Just been a scrappy, uh, scrappy game full of uh, filler cards. Linosaur tried his best. This is the one downside of Linosaur, obviously, is they can kill the thing in response, but. Not even that bad. You know, like they, they used a kill spell on an ornithopter, and I got a 2 2. So, whatever. You know, like. 2 2 for 3, sack your ornithopter, thought sees your removal spell. Look at it like that. 25. Yeah, no Yatas today. Alright, sweet. That was pretty cool. All right, on the play. And you got... This is a weird one. We're going to keep this. Um, no turn one play is odd, but going Clarion Spirit plus Thopter on turn two is pretty sweet. So we're going to keep this. Definitely a weird hand, but it's got most of what we want. It's just like weird because like we have these zeros. If these were ones, you know, it would actually be worse. So... All right, so let's see what, what they're up to over there. Dark Slick Shores Thoughtseize. That makes the hand a little worse. All right. I mean, Knight Errant is the best card, but Clarion Spirit kind of holds the room together, so they're going to take Clarion Spirit, sure. All right. Well, now our hand is kind of bad. Uh, 
Obviously, we wanted to draw literally anything but another Convoke creature there. So, kind of a nasty thought sees. Another Ornithopter? Alright, sure. We're gonna guess. Here's an Ornithopter. Now, they can kill one of these in response and not give me priority to cast one of these. And they're going to. Okay, sure. So, so now we're just gonna say go. Um, I'm not gonna play the third one. They don't, know, they don't know about it either, but... Really awkward hand, unfortunately. Snub a dub dub dub. Still can't cast the convoker. God, kill me here. The powerful snub a dub. Alright, so you go. This card's pretty sweet. Obviously, it's pretty easy to make it a 3 3 for 1, but also in this deck, it's pretty good against the. Uh, the cards that are good against us Goblin Chain Whirler, Cyborg cards that deal 1 or 2 damage. Um, very mastermind is here. Sure. Uh, no blocks. This hand has been pretty ugly. Yeah. Patty Theft, sure. Some sort of weird, like, blue, red, blue, uh, black tempo deck. We should draw a Lance, fine, too. An edict. All right. Never mind. We just landing. Okay. All right. Okay. Your turn. Just the ugliest game imaginable. Shock. Shelly. Alright. Not you. Alright. Uh, here's an Epicure. We're still a mana short? God, kill him here. Uh, I'm just playing it all. Alright, here's an Epicure. Here's a Century. Here's a Thingy. Take one. Uh -huh. Still a mana short. I just... About as bad as the game can go, unfortunately. Our hand was pretty good. Had the Clutch Thought Seize. Haven't drawn any lands. Had the removal spells. Always have one removal spell, so we're just always, you know, at, at uh, four mana, not five. Now they get old Shelly in play. All right. I'm just not going to block. We're probably just dead here, but... Yeah, eight to six. They play this. We draw again. Yeah, all right, we're just dead, but... We have lifelink. Now I draw demolition. Great. All right. So, um, they have this thing too. I think we're just dead, but we're gonna demolition and knight errant of Eos. Um, that's gonna give us city's blessing too. What's the last card? Is it a counter spell? Taking me to school. Has it all. All right. Um, and they have this thing too, and this. All right, we're dead. All right, they got us. Obviously, just the ugliest game imaginable. I uh, just couldn't piece it together at all. But that's fine. It's gonna happen, obviously. Uh, so they're like a blue-black sort of like tempo-y deck. Um, so we definitely want this in these invasions against them. Um, need to be aware of languish and other sweepers. Obviously, those are pretty big. Wedding announcement also on the menu too. Need to cut some of the. Uh, I think the snub dubs can go here because their damage is gonna be like not damage based really or removal spells. I mean, and then I think like they got a clarion spirit or two, maybe an ornithopter or two. Um, ornithopter is obviously sweet, but like not if they're casting mass removal spells or a bunch of interactive spells. So more of a speed card than anything else. And maybe we just got the Clarion Spirits. We're also bringing in two drops, so let's just do this. So, less creatures now for our uh, for our Knight Captain, but I think this is still pretty good. Um, I'm going to cut the Shepard Dunes for a Bugbear also. I don't think we need the extra lands, so we're not bringing in the Showdown either. Um, yeah, this is fun. Let's try this. Not sure how good the Invasion is going to be, honestly, but... You know, their cards are kind of cheap, but getting good luck, taking a sweeper. All 
Alright, on the play. Uh, much better. Keep. Epicure, Demolition, and then also Announcement, which is great too. And the Line of Source, so nice and beats. No Convokers this time, obviously. They're all they're all lost in our last hand, but... Here's an Epicure, ding ya. Good old Wedding Announcement. Good Cyborg card against these grindy decks. A little awkward of the one planes here, obviously, because I can't double spell. We're going to play a Watery Grave, Untap, and say go. Somewhat signifying Spell Pierce. I think that's fine, though, because we want to cast Wedding Announcement anyway. So let's attack for one. Then probably just play Land Demolition. They're probably going to Spell Pierce it, but I think it's fine. Sure. Fine. I think, like, not playing anything there is just, like, you know, not not good because we want to try and resolve this next turn. So let's trade one for one. It's not a big deal. Our one mana spell over there, one mana spell. Island. All right, let's see if we can draw a land. We can. Let's attack for one again. I think I want to go for it again. I'm actually going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna hold the announcement. I'm, I'm a little iffy about what they're doing here. So let's play around spell pierce again by playing the land and playing this they want to play like a other counter spell sure like a negate or whatever we'll just play the epic here set up for announcement next turn drown in the lock all right you got it so trade one for one twice we're at 14. gonna get our wedding announcement on We have two in the bin, so Drown can't counter this. Right. Uh, it's kind of cool, too, but... It's funny, I'd rather make a token than actually draw a card here, but... Whatever. It's stuck. Oh, yeah. Fatal push. Oh, yeah. Kill the 1-1. One, one. Alright. Do they have another counter spell? Of course they do. I guess. That's pretty annoying to turn on the thing. Alright, I guess. Draw land. Alright, so two, three. I can't play this and convoke. I guess I just play the land and play Loxodon. Can't drown this one. Cost five. Alright, so you have a 4 4, a camp fatal push, and a 2 2. Definitely would love a den of the bugbear. Or I guess I would love if one of my lands are in the bugbear, but there's just spells, but. Languish, also a possible card they could have. It's pretty good against us. Much better than Anger of the Gods or Brotherhood's End or any of those sweepers because uh, it deals four damage, kills the, kills the Convokers. Once again, tank real hard, play a land, and just say, yeah, draw a land also. So, all right, I'll just swing. We're just, buy, just swinging by Gigantha. So I should be playing rogues. Okay, so it's any rogues in game one, obviously, but they mill some cards over. Still a one-one because we have six cards in the bin. Let's so say have another rogue here. Hi there. Hello. Rogue will mill two, so Rogue will make us three. Will make us a three-two three, two death toucher. Yeah, drown the lock, sure. I mean, they're like almost out of cards. That's kind of cool. 
So there you go. Uh, these trade. These trade with Jagantha. Play other land. A little anti synergy here with the Hive of the Eye Tower, which is kind of funny. Uh, can't attack into the Hive, though. Just play Gigantha. We're going to blood this land next turn, probably, too. Ooh, you're up. Petty theft. Right. Sure. Uh. That does change the clock a little bit. No hive though. All right. We draw Legion's Landing. I think we're gonna play. We can line a sword at. Get a little life link on. Their mastermind is a rogue. Will they draw off it? Let me draw one. They draw two. Mm. Invasion. Okay. I would think this would be a good matchup for us, honestly. But usually the, these sort of like, you know, weak creature tempo decks are bad against the rest of the decks. But our draws in both these games have not been very good. <laughs> Uh, pay that my freaking Gigantha again, and play Nighthawk Scavenger, and I believe that's going to be the game for us. Draw a second copy of Invasion. Yeah, we're just dead. Uh, yeah. All right. I mean, and sometimes you lose. It happens. Alright, so kind of an odd set of games there, playing its rogues twice. A little little uh, a little bit of a fringe archetype there. Uh, but as you can see, this deck is um it's not Hogak. You know, obviously Hogak was, you know, absolutely busted and totally ban bannable in the format that it was in, and you know, one of the most busted cards in Modern Horizons. Uh, this ain't that. That doesn't also mean that it's not very, very good. Um it's awesome to see a kind of a pure aggressive deck in uh Pioneer such that slash explorer. And um, I think this Explorer version is great, honestly. I think you don't lose that much from the port to Pioneer. Uh, Loxodon and Knight Errant of Eos are phenomenal. And uh, deck super sweet. So if you love aggro, if you want to beat down, this deck does that pretty, pretty well. And it's also pretty cheap, honestly. A lot of commons and uncommons, too. So probably a good entry point deck if you want to get into Explorer on Arena, which is pretty cool, too. So that's it for me. I'm Jim Davis for CoolStuffInc.com. Check out the companion article of this video, as always, um, right on CoolStuffInc.com. Check it out. Check out last uh, Friday's article all about the uh, the bands, discussing the bands, what I think they should be. And, of course, today is band day. It is Monday. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm sure I'll have a big reaction to that as well. So thanks for watching. I'm Drew Davis. I'll see you next time.